Hello, good morning or afternoon, depending where you are in the world today. My name is Timothy, and I'm going to walk you through the process of being able to configure an ArcGIS image server and a ArcGIS raster analytics server with your ArcGIS enterprise environment. Um, sometimes the configuration of an image server can get lost in translation. Um, and being able to configure a raster analytics server on top of that as well. But we're going to walk through that process today so that that way it's as straightforward as possible and everyone knows how to configure an image server by the, by the time this video is done, as well as a raster analytics server. So just to let, tell you a little bit about my environment before we get into it, I'm actually working with a 10.7.1 ArcGIS Enterprise environment. Um, I have five separate machines, uh, one for each component of the enterprise environment. Uh, one machine contains my portal for ArcGIS, as well as that being that is the machine for my web server and my web adapters. So, which my web, web which my web adapters sit on the web server. The next is my um, ArcGIS hosting server, which is going to be this server here. Um, it's uh, as you can see the domains are all the same because they're all registered to the same web server but they're designated differently by their web adapter name this one is ArcGIS and this is going to be my hosting server um, this the next one is going to be my image server here which is designated by image and the last is going to be my raster analytics server which is designated by raster uh, my last server I have is my data store uh, server, so I installed the data store on that one separately and already pre-configured it to my hosting server here. So let's go ahead and jump it right into it. So to begin the process, um, we're going to have first need to be able to set up raster stores on both our image server and our raster analytics server. The raster stores can be set here under the sites and data store settings tab. Once we're here under the data store settings tab, we're going to click this drop down here and we're going to see raster stores. This is only available on the image server role. So we're going to go ahead and click that and we're going to add a raster store. The important thing to note about a raster store is that it needs to be a shared location between both your image server and your raster analytics server, which means it can either be a file share or a cloud store or an enterprise geodatabase. So the file share, I'm going to personally be using a file share, but if you have a cloud store such as an Amazon S3 bucket or an enterprise geodatabase such as an Oracle or SQL Server database, you're more than welcome to use those as well. Um, so I'm going to use there and I'm going to name my uh, raster store image. Very basic, I know, but We'll just name it image for now. Um, and I'm just gonna hit create. An important thing to note is that no matter how many times you validate, the image, the raster store will not validate. Um, that's normal. Um, so for the raster store to not validate, we just wanna make sure that from these different image machines, uh, or from our image server machine and our raster analytics machine, that this file store is accessible and open. Um, and so we're gonna come here um, this is my raster server. As you can see, it also has the role of image server. Um, if you didn't see it from this one, initially my image server has the role of image server. They both utilize the same uh, licenses for image server. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna register the same raster store to our raster analytics server. So just as we did before, we're coming down to sites, going to data stores, and then coming over here to this drop down list and choosing raster store. I'm going to go ahead and name an image as well. You, you are more than welcome to name it a separate name. It does not affect the image server and raster analytics server. Uh, however, um, I like to stay consistent and give it the same name. And now I'm going to paste our file share here. It's important to note when if you're using a uh, folder location for your settings, for the raster store, you have to use a file share for your path. It has to be the file share name, not a letter drive name. All right, once that is registered, we now successfully have two raster stores or one raster store registered between both of our raster analytics server and our image server. Uh, once that is done, we're now going to 
do everything within our portal environment. So we're going to come now to our organization tab here, and we're going to go to our settings tabs here. Once we're at our settings tabs uh, tab, we're going to go ahead and go into our server tab here. For anyone who is familiar with the federation process, what we're going to do now is federate all three of our servers with our portal environment, set our hosting server, then next we're going to set our image server and our raster analytics server. So in order to do this, you need to go ahead and for we're going to go ahead and do add server here. Very easy, very straightforward. Just add each server. We're going to need each server's names. So this one here. Copy. When as you can see for the server service URL, we all we need to do is add the server's name with the web adapter. And then once that is done, um, we can add in our administrative URL, administration URL. The administration URL actually can be the same as the web adapter name. As you can see, if I put this down, it's able to validate successfully. However, I like going through as going the way our example goes here and just using our port to, for the administration URL. So I know the names of all of these servers, the, but if you didn't know that's an information and you wanted to set your administration URL as the fully qualified machine name or a DNS name with the port added on, you're going to need to look that up and have that information on hand before. So we're going to use that 6443, which is the port that ArcGIS Server always uses. And we're going to use our administrative ArcGIS Server's username and password. And then click add and hopefully if we did things correctly this should go through flawlessly without any issues and also so this process does take a bit of time um, so I'm going to pause the video through throughout adding each three of these servers and restart again once they add successfully Voila, there is server number one added successfully with our uh, after we added our parameters in and added it as a server. Now, um, an important thing here to never forget is that once you add your hosting server here, we, you need to go ahead and set it as your hosting server down here, right? So otherwise, it will just be a federated server and not a hosting server. Um, it's important because we cannot have a raster uh, image, we cannot have a raster analytics server fully configured nor an image server configured without first being able to add the hosting server. It needs a full enterprise stack. So we're just going to do that. We're going to click save and that and it's easy as peasy just like that. Um, and then once I finish saving, we'll go ahead and add our other two servers as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and add the other two servers um, and pick up after that. All right, welcome back. Uh, as you can see now, we have all three of our servers here uh, federated now with our enterprise environment. It has the hosting server added and yeah and then now we are more than now we can go ahead and designate our different servers to our image server and raster analytics server and so we first go uh, I like to just go ahead and do the image server first so we're gonna just do the drop down as you can see the it does it keeps the web adapter name not the fully administration name um, so we're just gonna choose our image server for the hosting image, um, just so you can see it one by one actually take into effect. I'm going to save this first and then we're going to do our raster analytics and save. You can go ahead and choose both of them and save um, once you do that, but um, I, I just want to show you one by one that each one will save individually. So, take some time. But um, it's just basically saving. Also, during the saving process, if anything does arise, um, I like to do a one-by-one one just in case. So if any errors pop up, 
Um, we can see which server is actually causing the error. As you can see, settings saved successfully. So that means that it took our image server and it recognized that we have now have an image server federated and configured to our enterprise environment. Last, what we're gonna do is choose our raster analytics server. Um, so it says notice assigning this. Uh, we'll assign the role to a federated image server. We'll provide raster analytic capability for the portal users. Note that some apps such as OrthoMaker will be require additional registration, which is fine. We just want to be able to use this to be able to do raster analytic function in our enterprise environment. So we're going to click OK and save. And then uh, as soon as it's finished saving, we should see um, if it goes through successfully that we have a fully functioning image server and raster analytics server now added on to our enterprise environment. So it's just saving. And what this will allow us to do is to actually be able to perform raster analytics um, within our environment altogether, within different web maps and web apps. Um, and we'll go to our web map settings and we'll actually see that there should be raster analytics tool now currently available for us there. So the raster analytics is actually a toolbox that's already by default on the ArcGIS server and it's successful, yay! So we now have a raster analytics server and an image server now configured to our enterprise stack successfully. So just to be able to just double check to make sure things are good, um, we want to go now to our web map settings here and we want to go ahead and just take a look at some of our analysis tools. And as you can see, if we press analysis, we have feature analysis, which is enabled uh, by default when we have a federated enterprise environment. Um, the hosting server allows for feature analytics, but as you can see now, we have raster analytics. So this is a capability that is only available when a raster analytics server is designated to an enterprise environment, and we're now able to perform raster analytics in our enterprise environment. So that's about it. Pretty straightforward. As I uh, said at the beginning of the video, um, all we, we worked with is just having our different three different servers. So um, and you can do this with only three servers. You can have one server specifically designated to your enterprise stack and your web server, and then you need two other servers, one for your image server and one for the raster analytics server. Um, either or, you want the raster analytics and image server to be pretty robust if you're going to be doing raster analytics and containing these giant image services typically on them. Uh, but it's very straightforward, very easy, and yeah, once you do this, you'll have your Raster Analytics server ready, ready to go. So thank you very much for taking this journey with me. Um, I hope you uh, this helps anyone who's looking to set up their Raster Analytics server and image server along the way, and uh, see you next time. Have a wonderful night, or a wonderful morning, or a wonderful day.